We need more, and we need more fast. And I'm so tired of hearing that Brian Dayball is going to turn him into Josh Allen. That is such an insult to what Josh Allen is. Josh Allen is a psychopath. He is not D Daniel Jones. That is saying, you know what Marty Scorsese did for De Niro, he could do for Carrot Top. Like it's, <laughs> it is not the same deal. A great coach does not make a quarterback an all-pro. He's going to need a lot more than that. What is up, YouTube? What is up, Giants fans? It is your boy, Jay Dimes. We're back at it with another New York Giants video. Back at it with another New York Giants bang game. Before we get to this one, if you're not done yet, make sure you leave a like, make sure you comment, and make sure you hit the subscribe button join the channel if you love Giants football. Now, let's get right into this one. First, I wanted to shout out my man, Super Taj, on Twitter for basically showing this and tweeting this uh, little video of Kyle Brandt on Good Morning Football. He was asked, what will make or break the New York Giants in 2022? And um, instead of answering the actual question, he goes on and rants about Daniel Jones. He talks about how he doesn't have no highlight plays. He talks about the highlight plays he does have are from like two years ago when he was a rookie. They felt like 20 years ago. Then he talks about freaking um, the little trick play versus Carolina. Like saying he doesn't have no highlight plays. And then he goes to say this. He lies on national television. He goes on to lie about Brian Dable and Daniel Jones and he basically says that he's tired of hearing Giants fans say that Brian Dable is going to turn Daniel Jones into Josh Allen. Now please tell me Mr. Brandt who is out here saying that Brian Dable is going to turn Daniel Jones into Josh Allen. Now last year during the offseason of last year of 2021 we were all saying that oh Joe Judge rising up coach he looks pretty good in his first year no talent went six and ten was battling in the nfc east daniel jones in his rookie year threw 24 touchdowns 12 picks doesn't have a good old line did a lot of this without no real weapons the giants go out and sign kenny galladay the giants go out and draft Kadarius tony in the first round and now we're kind of looking and saying that maybe he could be the next josh allen you know josh allen didn't come out blazing hot his first two years he was a mediocre quarterback but what happened they traded for stefan diggs Next thing you know, he's a superstar, absolute stud QB. Love Josh Allen. And we were looking at that and saying, basically, maybe Daniel Jones could be the next Josh Allen. Basically, we know how it all played out in 2021. Didn't come out to be that way. The Giants go and they uh, hire Brian Dable as the head coach. And the first thing a lot of people say is, yeah, Brian Dable was a, a part of building up Josh Allen. The chemistry with Josh Allen helped Josh Allen develop into the quarterback he is now. But nobody's out here saying after three years of Daniel Jones's play, nobody is here saying that they are going to turn DJ into Josh Allen. Nobody's saying that. Kyle Brent just lied, just blatantly lied. Instead of answering the question of who is going to, what's going to make or break the Giants in 2022, he could have said Daniel Jones is going to make or break the Giants in 2022. He could have easily said that. But instead of answering that question, he goes on and just lies. Saying that people are talking about Brian Dable turning Daniel Jones to Josh Allen when nobody is saying that. If you've seen somebody say that uh, Brian Dable's coming in here is going to turn Josh, uh, turn Daniel Jones into an all pro, pro bowl, AVP caliber quarterback, let me know and let me talk some sense into them. Because either way, 60% of the fan base hates Daniel Jones. Let's be real 60% of the fan base don't really even like Daniel Jones. So, I don't know who is out here saying that Brian Dable is going to turn Daniel Jones to this Pro Bowl all-star quarterback because nobody should be out here saying that. Nobody's out here saying that Kyle Brandt just took an opportunity to trash the Giants once again. He took the opportunity to just trash the Giants for no reason. And one thing Kyle Brandt does, I don't know if you watch Good Morning Football or not. I personally don't watch it. I'd rather watch Skip and Shannon on um, FS1 or even First Take on ESPN with Stephen A. Smith. He goes on in the offseason. He rants about the Giants. He talks about the Giants that like they're going to be the next big thing. He goes on and gives off these little speeches about why Daniel Jones and Saquon Barkley are going to succeed for the season. And then when they don't, he comes out after the season and just bashes them. It's a, it's a cycle. He does it every year. He does it every year. He goes on rants about how Daniel Jones and Saquon Barkley are going to make things great in New York. 
and then when they don't do it, he trashes them and he does it again. That's what he does. He does that. But I don't understand why he could have just answered the question, could have said Daniel Jones is going to make or break the Giants. Instead, he goes on and rants about Brian Dable turning Daniel Jones to Josh Allen, which nobody should be or is saying. If you're out here thinking that Brian Dable is going to turn Daniel Jones to Josh Allen, you got to be real with yourself. And I am a big DJ supporter. I'm a big DJ supporter. DJ is a hill that I'll die on because he's my QB. He's my QB. I saw what he did as a rookie. I think that with a decent O-line, some decent weapons, a good head coach in Brian Dable, who we still have to see, obviously, I feel like he'd be great. But he's not going to be He's not gonna be Josh Allen. I literally talked about yesterday how he'd be Kirk Cousins. I'm, nobody's out here saying that he's going to be Josh Allen. And if you are, again, you got to look at yourself. You got to look in the mirror and be real with yourself. You got to be real. You don't just turn 10 or what I say, um, 11 touchdowns, 10 picks into 30 touchdowns and 10 picks. You don't just do that in one season. I would love for it to happen, but it's, come on now, the chances of that happening are slim to none. Slim to none. But Kyle Brandt just went up there and lied on national television. And it happens all the time. Last year, I made a video about Stephen A. Smith slandering Daniel Jones. And next and this year, it's, it's, it's Kyle Brandt. Just lying. Just lied. Just lied. All right. But nobody is out here thinking that Daniel Jones is going to be Josh Allen. Nobody. And if you are, come on, be real. But um, basically, that's what I want to talk about. It was a video on Twitter from my man, Super Taj. Go follow him on Twitter if you haven't. It. But um, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy how the media just finds a way to trash the Giants at every opportunity. Every opportunity. Now, I hope the Giants go out there and prove everybody wrong. I would love for it to happen. But until then, it's, well, it's, it's what it is. It is what it is. But um, that's going to do it. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, hit the subscribe button. And until then, it's big boy G. That's I am out. Go Giants.